Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anilon Nepal. This is a video series of Photon tutorial and today we will continue decision control in Photon. Let's start. Okay, till now we have used an example where we have to check only one condition. What if we have to check many conditions? So for that, there is another way that is called if else if else statement. So let's give an example here. Uh, I will uh, give the value of marks later. Now we want many conditions to be tested out. So if we want one condition to check, then we give the statement here. Okay, and then we have to use else if. Now we can check one more condition, then statement of else if here. Okay, and one more condition then statement of else if so like that we can give many condition of many condition using else if and at last if all the above conditions are wrong then do this so like this uh, and we have to do and if so this is the way of controlling the decision if we have to check many condition so let's give one condition here if mark is less than 20 I will say very okay very bad okay and let's give one more condition if mark is less okay mark is equal to okay for the equal sign you know double equal 40 print okay let's say good and give condi let's give condition if mark is equal to 60 let's say very good okay and uh, let's give one more condition else if mark is equal to let's say 80 then print excellent okay and at last if no any condition is true then we can say above conditions are false okay we can say that okay so so we give a condition in if if this condition is true this statement will be displayed this statement will be executed and we give one more condition in the else if and if this condition is true then it execute this statement and similarly this condition true this statement and this condition true this statement and if above all conditions are wrong then this statement okay let's see let's give marks 10 okay now let's print out the okay let me first clear out okay now uh, okay one wrong here uh, on terminated character constant okay we forgot to give uh, we forgot to give double quote there okay now okay sorry um, okay so it says very bad because max is equal to 10 so 10 is less than 20 true so it means this statement will be executed now let's give exactly 40 okay so exactly 40 means this statement is true this condition is true so this statement will be executed so good is displayed the air now let's give exactly 80 okay excellent because this condition is satisfied and it displays the it execute the this statement now we want we want to give other number uh, let's say 50 okay g photo 
okay now above conditions are false so <clears throat> 50 is less than 20 false 50 is equal to 40 false 50 is equal to 60 false 50 equals to 80 false so above all conditions are false that means else statement will be displayed out so above condition are false is displayed this is the way of writing if else if else statement we can have if statement as many as we want in our program to make each if statement unique photon has a feature of labeling if statement with a unique word so let me show you that first for this now i am going to use two if statement in our program decision okay and let me read this i will okay so this is the first if now let's create another if if and i'm going to use simple uh, relational operation okay six equals to six then okay and end if okay print uh, new okay and since this mark is not needed now uh, i will give four three greater than one okay so now we have two if statement in our program we can have many if statement in our program and we can make them unique using a text in front of a if in this format so i will give this first and for this if i will write second now while writing end if you have to write the label also so end if first and end if second if we run this okay the photon uh, this if dot f95 dot slash a dot out okay we got very bad and new so uh, this is the way of labeling the if write the word by which you want to label the if and use colon and do end if and write the label name now uh, let me show you another thing okay i'm not going to use the label now if you have a single statement inside the if there is one shortcut way to write if in a single line so for that you don't need to write end if and then i'll simply got end if and i'll cut this then also and now i can write in a single line okay so this is the way of writing the if statement in a single line if you have single statement to be execute so if three is greater than one print very bad so this can be very useful to make the code shorter run again and also we got the answer Okay, one thing I have to tell while compiling uh, your Photon file using the G Photon compiler. When you compile any Photon file, so for our file if dot f95, when you compile any file, uh, you will get the executable file. Default name of that file will be a dot out, but you can give the output file name as you want. For that, you have to use the O option, and to write the option, you have to use minus sign. So minus O. Now you can give the output name as you like. I will give if dot out. So we got the if dot out output. Now we can run that if dot out and we will get the same answer. Now suppose we want certain statement to execute only when two conditions are satisfied. So but we want this print statement to execute only when two conditions are satisfied suppose if three greater than one that is one condition we also want to give another condition suppose five is greater than six okay now when we want certain statement to execute only with the help of two condition for such problem we can put one if inside the another if let me show you that first we have an integer x and x may be 6 okay or we can give any value now we want to print 
this is uh, this text suppose uh, very good okay now we want this statement to execute when two conditions are valid suppose we we want x should be greater than 10 and we want x should be less than 15 okay so we want these two condition to satisfy then only we want this print statement to execute so in that case we can use one if inside the another if so so what we can do is i will write first if one if then we want uh, x should be uh, greater than 10 okay uh, let's give let's give space to make it more readable then and we have to end this if now we want another if also inside that same if and we want x should be less than 15 okay then and that if should be end using end if okay so so and uh, if that condition is satisfied then only it will check for this condition if first condition is not satisfied then it will not go, it will not check the condition inside that if like this we can put many if inside the if statement so let's give here x to well so we give x value to well now it will check this first to well is greater than 10 yes so it gives true that means it will go inside the inside of this if but inside that if is another if with a condition x should be less than 15 so again it will check to be less than 15 true then it will go for this statement so let's run this okay we got very good answer now let's put one print statement inside the first if okay let's say a good only okay uh, remember this print statement is of first if but this print statement is of second if i will give value x value x value 5 okay so first 5 comes here 5 greater than then false that means it will not go for the inside statement okay so let's check it out okay we didn't get any result now let's give x value greater than uh, uh, x value 20 so 20 greater than 10 true true means it will go inside now first statement will be executed because program read step by step so first uh, this statement will be executed then it will go to the inside if now 20 comes here 20 less than 15 false false means the print statement of that if will not be executed now if we run this we got good only only the first statement of the first if is displayed out so this is uh, this uh, putting one if inside the another if is called nested if so this much for this video if you have any question write down in the comment section and we will continue in the next video mm -hmm.